Greetings everyone, it's Emmy. Welcome back to another episode of What You Eatin'. Today I'm going to be eating more candy, and this one was sent to me from a viewer. So Mr. A very sweetly sent me a package along with a little letter. Both the Harry Potter Birdie Bots beans and this game called Bean Boozled. Both of them are made by the company uh, Jelly Belly. The premise of the game is they're lookalikes. They're beans that look exactly the same but have some terrible, terrible flavors. And inside the box is like this. Wait. Oh. <laughs> it says licorice or skunk spray. Mr. A told me that I should have a glass that I can spit one out. <laughs> and then a glass to cleanse my palate. So here we go. Itadakimasu. That actually isn't too bad. It didn't taste like skunk, and it doesn't taste like licorice either. I think it might have been supposed to be skunk spray, but it doesn't taste like it. It's not too bad. We have a neighborhood skunk that comes by almost every night to spray this area, and it's horrible. Like, we taste like skunk is in the air. If that's supposed to be skunk spray, that doesn't taste like it. That tasted like coffee. Uh, I'm surprised by that. If that's skunk spray, that was pretty good. <laughs> I think the salty licorice tastes way worse than that. Like, it's unpalatable. That's licorice. Definitely licorice. And that's just like a black jelly bean. And I don't find the skunk spray tasting bad at all. <laughs> but, you know, I eat kind of unusual things. Yeah, that was fine. No problem. Skunk spray it on. Joking, joking, I don't want to get sprayed by skunks. Spun it again, I got licorice again. Licorice loves me. <laughs> right here, which is top banana or pencil shavings. It's yellow with brown spots. Ready? To me, it doesn't taste like pencil shavings. I mean, I've never eaten pencil shavings, but I've gnawed on pencils before. It's very, it's sweet, maybe slightly piney. That's banana. It tastes like a artificial banana flavoring. And you know, it's not bad. The white one, coconut or baby wipe. Oh, that's coconut. That's really strong. It tastes like Malibu rum. Very, very strong artificial coconut flavor, like suntan lotion. Oh yeah. Baby wipe. Got it. <laughs> and that's a little bit weird. Not totally gross or unpalatable. And this tastes like a baby wipe or baby powder, talcum powder. It's not unpleasant, it's just sweet and it tastes like a fragrance or like, like Febreze. Strawberry jam or centipede. In Japan they have centipedes called mukade and mukade they bite and some people are actually allergic. My husband got bitten by one and the, the bite is really painful. I caught it and then I had to kill it with boiling water. Okay, that's tangential. Let's continue. Centipede, strawberry jam, here we go. Mmm, mmm, strawberry jam. Very nice strawberry flavor, not that kind of artificial strawberry flavor, which I like. And a little bit tart. Oh yeah, oh, that's gross. That one was supposed to be centipede. I've never had a centipede before, but that tasted like fertilizer. Like when you go down to Home Depot and you're walking down the fertilizer aisle and you're like, that's toxic. I shouldn't be here. That's what that tasted like. Next, peach or barf. Here we go, down the hatch. Mm-hmm. I got barf. Wow, that was gross. Um. Well, you know what? I think the taste of barf varies depending on what you've eaten recently. But that was unpleasant. Yeah, bile plus pizza. That's what that barf tasted like. Gross. Let's hope this is peach. Here we go. Yeah! That's peach. Peach is nice. Mmm. Especially after barf. It tastes like if I were to drink a bottle of Bath and Body Works peach fuzz 
That's what that would taste like. This one landed on the blue one, which is either toothpaste or berry blue. Mm, toothpaste. Spearmint and wintergreen, a little bit of peppermint. It's good. But I like mint, so I love like mint chocolate chips, like one of my favorite ice creams, so that was good. It is! Mmm! That's really good. That tastes like a blue raspberry slushy. Oh boy. Uh, caramel corn, yay! Moldy cheese. Woo! That was gross. It didn't taste cheesy. It tasted again, it had that same kind of a little bit of that centipede fertilizer flavor, a little bit sulfury. Okay, let's hope that this one is the caramel corn. Let's go. Nope. Nope. Oh yeah, finally. Got it, thanks. It's really nice when you actually get to eat the good one after the bad one. It gets the bad taste out of your mouth. And that's good. It tastes like um, Cracker Jacks or Fiddle Faddle. Chocolate pudding or canned dog food. Oh, isn't that nice? Hmm. I think that's the dog food. It's not what I imagined the dog food would taste like. It's not good, but it's not horrible. I was imagining like beef jerky flavor. You know, just not very good. Not so unpleasant. All right, let's see if this is chocolate pudding. Mm-hmm. Oh. Much better. Chocolate pudding tastes like Hershey syrup. Buttered popcorn or rotten egg. Hmm. Oh. That is horrible. That one is wrong. Wow. There's no, yeah, there's no questioning what the heck that was. That was foul. Sulfur, sweet, sulfur, noxious awfulness. So that was rotten egg. I don't like that one. Let's hope that this one's not another one. Ah, butter popcorn. You know, I never liked butter popcorn before, but after that thing, that's excellent. It tastes like fake artificial butter flavoring that you would get on microwave popcorn, but sweet. And very fake, cloyingly buttery flavor with a lot of sugar. Hmm, most pleasant after the rotten egg. Thank goodness I only had to eat one of those. Juicy pear or booger? I'm not confessing that I know what boogers taste like, but I do. Mm-hmm. I do believe that was supposed to be booger. That tastes nothing like a booger. A little bit salty fertilizer flavor is the juicy, is the booger, which we all know boogers don't taste like. Come on, Jelly Belly, get it right. All right, let's hope this one is the juicy pear. Here we go. Hmm, it is. Tastes very authentically pear. I like that. And then let's try these, the Harry Potter ones. So I'm going to do the gross ones because that's what everyone wants to see. I'm going to try this one, and that's supposed to be black pepper. Oh, yeah. Tastes just like black pepper. I don't think that's terribly disgusting. Oh, it's a little bit spicy. Oh, yeah, at the very end. Oh, I like that. I think this one. All right, let's go. I mean, I love the smell of topsoil and stuff, and that doesn't really taste like what I would imagine dirt would taste like. It's not bad. It tastes a little bit minty and cinnamony. It's got a little bit of a spice or something to it. I don't know if I'd call it dirt, though. Earwax. So I've never tried earwax before, and I've had no reason or inclination or want. Let's just try it. Here we go. Oh my god.
that was wrong. But that was worse than the rotten egg. But again, kind of sulfury and uh, uh, horrible. Uh, uh, yeah, that was gross. I think this one's a sausage one, just plain brown. Here we go. Hmm. Doesn't really taste sausagey to me. I don't taste any fennel or any meaty flavors. Just kind of, it tastes like that dog food. Hmm. Slightly greenish in color. It's soap. Here we go. Mm hmm. It tastes, it doesn't taste clean and fresh. It just tastes matronly. Ugh. Grass is this light green one. There's only one. Here we go. Mm -hmm. It doesn't taste grassy to me. It doesn't even taste vegetal. That just kind of just tastes sweet and unknown. I don't think it tastes like gr grass. There's one yellow one. That's lemon. Here we go. Oh, thank goodness. Oh, so much better. <laughs> I think that's it. The other ones are good flavors like cherry and candy floss and blueberry and tutti frutti and watermelon. Those are all kind of flavors. I would have to say the top three gross ones are soap, rotten egg, and earwax. But thanks Mr. Ray for sending this package of Jelly Bellies to me. It was a lot of fun. I really enjoyed myself even though some of these flavors were really gross, but it was a lot of fun. I hope you guys enjoy that and I'll see you in my next video. Thanks for watching. Bye. Snot shot.